है इम्पॉर्टेंट है फ्रीडम्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से बट हैविंग सेड दैट इट इज आल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम मेंस जीएस पेपर वन मेनली आर्ट एंड कल्चर एस्पेक्ट बट अगर हम आर्ट एंड कल्चर की बात करते हैं यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द पॉलिटी द इकोनॉमी सोसाइटी ऑफ द पीरियड टू अंडरस्टैंड द आर्ट एंड कल्चर ऑफ दैट टाइम फ्रेम राइट तो इसीलिए हम एंशंट हिस्ट्री के जो भी टॉपिक्स है इसको समझेंगे अलग अलग उनके फीचर्स क्या है कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स क्या है उनका टाइम फ्रेम क्या है ताकि आप प्रीम्स में नहीं बट मेन्स में भी यहां से कुछ पॉइंटर्स यूज कर सकते हैं आपके आंसर्स में सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द टॉपिक बट बिफोर बिगिनिंग विद प्री हिस्टोरिक टाइम्स फर्स्ट लेट एस आस्क आर सेल्फ हम एंशियंट हिस्ट्री क्यों पढ़ रहे हैं वाई इज इट इंपॉर्टेंट टू स्टडी एंशियंट हिस्ट्री नॉट ओनली बिकॉज इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर यूपीएससी एग्जाम बट इवन एज अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ हिस्ट्री अगर आप ये पढ़ना चाहते हैं वाई आर वी असेंशली स्टडी हिस्ट्री अगर रीजन आप हिस्ट्री पढ़ना चाहते हैं इट्स बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द कल्चर ऑफ दैट पीरियड यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड एग्रीकल्चर कैसे स्टार्ट हुआ अभी के जो लाइवलीहुड है यू नो दस फॉर्म्स ऑफ लाइवलीहुड एग्रीकल्चर द मेजर ऑक्यूपेशन या कहा से स्टार्ट हुआ ये कैसे स्टार्ट हुआ टू अंडरस्टैंड कि हमने नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज जो रिसोर्सेज दैट वो फ्रीली अवेलेबल इन द नेचर इसका इस्तेमाल कैसे किया इसका यूटिलाइज कैसे हुआ एज वेल एज ये यूटिलाइज करके ये नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज यूटिलाइज करके हमने अलग अलग कैसे डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ लाइवलीहुड क्रिएट किए फॉर एग्जाम्पल फिशिंग और वीविंग और कार्पेंट्री और ब्लैक स्मिथ गोल्ड स्मिथ वी ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड हाउ डिड पीपल बैक देन arrange for food shelter and even transport it is also essential to understand kaise pehle ke time pe jaise jungle nature was there forests were there how did they clear to become villages how did villages become kingdoms how did kingdoms become cities that we see today to so ancient history is not just for understanding the past of a particular period but also to understand the present hum yahan pe kyu kar rahe hain hum ye forms of livelihood kaise aaya abhi kyu kar rahe hain and also to get answers about various things that we see today it also helps us to find the answers for the obstacles or hindrances that we see today jab hum hamare past ko dekhte hain so that is why it's essential to study history and agar hum history ki baat karte hain then how do we study history okay so what are our ways to understand ki pehle ke time pe kya hua right we don't have the modern media the back then to see to date back kaise hua kaise sab kuch processes kaise hue we don't have a kind of a time machine to go back so what is our ways to study the that period now that is our sources to our sources become very important to study about any particular period and there are two kinds of sources कौन से दो काइंड ऑफ सोर्सेस है फर्स्ट वन इज लिटरेरी सोर्स एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज आर्कियोलॉजी या आर्कियोलॉजिकल सोर्स लिटरेरी सोर्सेस का मतलब है यू हैव सर्टेन टेक्स्ट यू हैव सर्टेन ऑटोबायोग्राफीज और बायोग्राफीज ओके तो ये पढ़ के You understand कि उस पीरियड में क्या हुआ था सो यू हैव ड्यूरिंग अकबर टाइम यू हैव इज ऑटोबाइज बायोग्राफी यू हैव सर्टेन कोर्टिस इन द किंग्स कोर्ट पोएट्स राइटर्स 
जो उस टाइम के पीरियड के बारे में लिखते थे मुगले के टाइम पे दिल्ली सल्तनत के टाइम पे मेडिवल हिस्ट्री के टाइम पे राइट और एंशियन हिस्ट्री के टाइम पे भी एज वेल इन द लेटर फेज वी सी दैट देयर वर पीपल हु यूज्ड टू राइट हिस्टोरियंस बैक देन एंड देन यू हैव द आर्कियोलॉजिकल सोर्सेज व्हिच आर मेनली योर मटेरियल रिमेंस ओके मटेरियल रिमेंस का मतलब क्या है दैट मींस you have your various pottery you have the tools that they used you have certain uh, kind of equipment or coins that were used back then certain inscriptions right inscriptions that were engraved in either a stone plate or a copper plate to is time se humko pata chalta hai what exactly were the happenings during that period right we understand about the use of various articles so we have these two aspects to understand ki kisi period mein kya hua kaise evolve hua uske bare mein humko pata chalta hai now if they ask you a question which of the sources are a better way of understanding history yani ki is archaeological source better than literary source or is literary source better than archaeological source if they ask you maybe even in interview let's take a pause and you see what would be your answer what would you think kaun sa source better hai samajhne ke liye the history of the times let's start with archaeological source okay archaeological sources के बेनिफिट्स क्या है वॉट यू थिंक इज अ पॉजिटिव टू गेट और टू स्टडी आर्कियोलॉजिकल सोर्स फर्स्टली वी विल गेट वेरियस आर्टिकल्स इक्विपमेंट्स मिलते हैं एंड दैट विल बी एबल टू टेल अस अबाउट द पीरियड जब हमारे पास कोई रिटर्न टेक्स नहीं थे सो टू अंडरस्टैंड पर्टिकुलर पीरियड बिफोर हैविंग the written text that we usually rely to understand about history us time se pehle like for example stone age ke time pe when we don't have written text these material remains may be pottery may be bone tools and stone tools they become important for us to understand about the period it also helps us to understand kaun se time period mein hua hai and it is more legitimate form of source because yahan pe hum scientific techniques use karte hain like carbon dating radioactivity inke karan we understand about what could be the exact time frame that a particular incident must have happened okay you get a time frame you may not get the exact year right but you get lagbhag is century ke aas paas ye hua hoga by using certain scientific methodologies then we can also understand the kind of you know the monuments or the kind of tools that were used you can understand about the rich culture of the particular people on the other hand there are challenges with this kaun se aise challenges hain jaise ki in this period we see that if we have to rely on these tools and equipments right humko nahi pata ki kis ke liye istemal hue hain okay so if we have certain kind of monuments that were received jaise ki ek koi statue mila hai ye statue ka worship kiya hoga ya ye doll ki tarah khela hoga you don't know the reason why or what was that particular equipment used उसका यूज आपको नहीं पता है तो यहाँ पे आपको एक अंदाजा लगाना होगा कि एग्जैक्टली exactly क्या और किसके लिए इस्तेमाल होगा सो दैट इज वन चैलेंज नॉट नोइंग द एग्जैक्ट यूज ऑफ दैट पीरियड और दैट पर्टिकुलर मटेरियल रूमेन यू मस्ट हैव गॉट सम टूल यू डोंट नो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वॉज यूज फॉर द सेकेंड अंडर प्रॉब्लम इज विद दिस इज विद रिगार्ड टू ये जो कार्बन डेटिंग साइंटिफिक मेथोडोलॉजी की बात करती हूं मैं दिस 
इज फर्स्टली कॉस्टली ओके ये जो एक्सकवेशन का प्रोसेस है जहां पे आप खोद की निकालते हो यू हैव टू गो वे डीपर द ग्राउंड टू फाइंड दीज मटीरियल रिमेन्स राइट तो ये जो एक्सकवेशन प्रोसेस है ये कॉस्टली होगा एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग विल ऑल्सो बी टाइम टेकिंग लेंदी प्रोसेस यानी कि आप लैब में उसको देख के यू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंट कार्बन टेक्निक्स लेंदी कॉस्टली प्रोसेस सो हेल्स आर्कियोलॉजी इवन दो इट हैज सम पॉजिटिव टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द पीरियड देर आर ऑल्सो दे आर ड्रॉबैक्स दैट कम विथ इट फर्दर वी ऑल्सो नीड सम स्पेशलिस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड कि एग्जैक्टली कैसा होता है यू नीड ट्रेन लेबोरेटरी टेक्नीशियंस टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट दैट पर्टिकुलर इक्विपमेंट जैसे कार्बन डेटिंग होता है जो भी मेथडोलॉजीज है उसके लिए भी कुछ स्किल्ड लेबर की जरूरत है सो ऑल ऑफ दीज आर यू कैन से द पॉजिटिव इज नेगेटिव लेट्स गो टू लिटरेरी सोर्स लिटरेरी सोर्स की बात करते हैं इनफैक्ट वी हैव टेक्स्ट वॉट आर द पॉजिटिव ऑफ हैविंग अ टेक्स्ट दिस विल हेल्प अस टू एग्जैक्ट टू गेट द एग्जैक्ट डेट्स राइट जो भी हिस्टोरियंस होते हैं दे नॉर्मली राइट द डेट्स दे सो वी नो एग्जैक्टली कौन से Uh, you know, century में हुआ था कौन से year में हुआ था So you don't have to do any further dating techniques to understand the time frame. And then we can also understand with regard to about various events that happen. यहां पर हमको ज्यादा decipher करने की जरूरत है but यहां पर what is the benefit of this? You exactly know the series of events that must have happened. which gives us a better understanding about the quality the economy the society of that particular period here it is also able to understand about the various ideologies alag alag cultures kaise evolve hue you don't have to rely on further material means of course material is and literary sources jab hum saath mein lete hain it kind of really relates to things but यहां से भी हमको बहुत कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन मिल जाता है सो यू गेट एन इंक्रीज सोर्स ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन बट दिस ऑल्सो हैज ड्रॉबैक्स नाउ इट कुड बी द ड्रॉबैक्स विद द लिटरेरी टेक्स्ट नाउ वी सी दैट ये जो राइटर्स थे दे वुड लिव इन द कोर्ट्स ऑफ दीज किंग्स सो व्हेन यू आर कोर्टिस इन व्हेन यू आर लिविंग इन द कोर्ट्स ऑफ दीज किंग्स यहां पे यू वुड जनरली बी बायस्ड टू द किंग अगर कुछ किंग गलत चीज करता यू वुड यू वुड स्टिल बी सपोर्टिव ऑफ थिंग्स यू वुड राइट पॉजिटिव अबाउट थिंग्स यू वुड नॉट इवन राइट द नेगेटिव इंसिडेंट दैट मस्ट हैव हैपन बिकॉज यू आर पेट्रोनाइज बाय दैट कोर्ट बाय द किंग तो क्या आप कुछ गलत चीजें लिख सकते हो डेफिनेटली नॉट सो डोंट यू थिंक दीज टेक्स विल ऑल्सो वी हैव अ सेट ऑफ बाइसनेस टूवर्ड्स इट पार्शियल होंगे for the king they can also exaggerate a set of things just so that they get extra luxury in life royal life jeene ke liye to be the good books of the king they would make the king good in their books okay so that is the drawback and also these courts since these writers used to live in the king's court so do you think they would understand kya hota hai in the life of the common person right agar wo mahalon mein rehte hain unko kya pata ki culture kaisa hai in the common people or villages mein kaisa life hai unka so we will not get certain aspect of the village life or of the common people the hardships of the people you will only get maybe one aspect of it. Okay, so this is you can say a rough uh, pro and con of the literary and the archaeological sources. And if you have to balance your answer, it is nothing but telling that you have to have both sources important, hai, literary sources as well as archaeological sources. And साथ में जब हम इसको पढ़ते हैं, समझते हैं about a history of the times. we will understand about the various aspect of our ancient india all right 
सो लेट्स गेट बैक टू द टॉपिक एंड नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड हमारा जो टॉपिक है प्री हिस्टोरिक टाइम्स फर्स्टली व्हाई द नेम प्री हिस्टोरिक प्री हिस्टोरिक इसीलिए बिकॉज़ फर्स्टली इस पीरियड में वी डिड नॉट हैव एनी लिटरेरी सोर्स तो इसी इस समय व्हाट वुड वी यूज वी वुड रिलाय हेवीली ऑन आर्कियोलॉजिकल सोर्स इसीलिए इस पीरियड को कहते हैं प्री हिस्टोरिक टाइम्स देन वी आल्सो हैव सीन अबाउट प्रोटो हिस्ट्री व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय प्रोटो हिस्ट्री प्रोटो हिस्ट्री इज जनरली कॉल्ड और व्हिच पीरियड इज कॉल्ड प्रोटो हिस्ट्री जो हमने ऑलरेडी देखा है द आईबीसी और द हरप्पा सिविलाइजेशन उस पीरियड को प्रोटो हिस्ट्री क्यों कहते हैं सो we have archaeological sources we also have literary sources in ibc but they have not been deciphered what do you mean by deciphering a text yani ki us text mein jo likha hai humko abhi tak pata nahi chala we have not understood the writings of a particular text Okay, there were symbols that were there, Bustrophedon, the writings. ये सब पता है, but we don't know what exactly they meant. Okay, so therefore, archaeological sources तो है ही. We rely on archaeology. We do have literary, but they are not much of use to us because they are not decipherable. इसीलिए हम इस period को बैठ मुकुल देना proto history. and then comes our phase where we study about history okay so you see how the progression happens prehistory se proto history proto history se history where you have both archaeological sources as well as literary sources so which period is called prehistory which period is called prehistory the period that is generally when we talk about the stone age period जैसे हम स्कूल में थे वी मस्ट हैव स्टडीड अबाउट स्टोन एज पीरियड राइट नाउ वी विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट स्टोन एज पीरियड अ वेरी इजी टॉपिक जहां पे आप देखते हो कि हाउ डिड द मैन देन लर्न अबाउट डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स अबाउट टूल्स कैसे उन्होंने टेक्नोलॉजी की सहायता से अलग-अलग टूल्स बनाए एंड व्हाट वर व्हाट वाज हिज लाइवलीहुड and what are the different sites in india with regarding to those periods and then at the end of the topic a little mains understanding kyunki questions aise bhi aa sakte hain to mains mein agar question aata hai what can the modern man today learn from the stone age man in the prehistoric times to agar aise question aata hai you need to understand about the period so i will walk you through the whole period of prehistoric times and then you will understand ki hum us period se kya samajhte hain now to understand about the prehistoric times first let's understand the time frame when this actually happened so we understand jab hum geography dekhte hain we have already studied that earth evolved for 1600 million years ago and the life on earth began around 3500 million years ago jaise ki alag plants as well as animals humans ki jab hum baat karte hain we evolved in the pre pleistocene epoch or period Let's understand what are the various periods of geography. We will be studying, but just to understand what are the various eras and how and what context and what period we are talking about. Let's see. So, firstly, there are various eras that we are talking about. अलग-अलग era form में, जैसे कि Archeozoic. Okay. Then we have Proterozoic, Paleozoic, Mesozoic. 
Mesozoic and Cenozoic. Okay, so अलग अलग time frames में ये evolve हुए and the recent one will of course be the Cenozoic era. ये era is further divided into different set of periods. Okay, now I'm not going to be discussing each, but we are interested to know about humans. So humans coming in the under Cenozoic era, के अंदर दो kind of periods evolved हुए. Okay. The two periods are tertiary period and quaternary period. Okay, the two periods that we are interested in. Now, which is the latest period? The fourth year quaternary, right? So quaternary period was essential because now we are understanding which time frame may humans evolved. Hmm? So quaternary period will further be divided into different. Epochs, okay, and which are the different epochs? There are two epochs that we are interested in. That is Pleistocene and Holocene. Okay, tertiary period is divided into further five types, which is mainly the Paleocene, Eocene. Then there's Oligocene and Miocene and Pliocene. But we are interested about humans. इसीलिए मैंने बस ये दो quaternary period के अलग दो types लिए। Now as I said, humans evolved कौन से period में कहाँ था मैंने? Pre Pleistocene. Okay? इस period से थोड़ा पहले, because we know we know it's not a sudden change that humans gave. We say that humans were similar to apes, right? Because हमारे जो features थे वो very similar, like bipedal, दो पैरों पे चलना, we had a pot bellied, we had a skull which had different capacity of brain that would hold. So इसीलिए we say that humans mainly evolved from apes, which mainly started in the pre-Pleistocene era. Now, when we talk about pre-Pleistocene or Pleistocene era, the time frame here is about 1.8 million years ago to 11,000 years ago. Now, why are we giving this time frame? Why 11,000? Because this period is called as Ice Age period. Okay? When there was snow around, okay, when there was glaciers around, and then slowly the earth started warming up. So when warming up was the kind of climate, the kind of temperature that changed. And this is the post ice age period. Okay. And this is mainly after 11,000 to the present times. And many scientists have given अभी का जो period है, they call it Anthropocene, because अभी जो global warming, climate change की वजह से, what there is for the warming of the earth, because of Anthropocene यानी कि human या man-made cause की वजह से climate बदल रहा है, right? ये जो changes हुए, it was mainly because of nature, nature's forces. But अभी का जो time है, it's because mainly the man-made changes is making the climate to change. Alright, but we are coming back to this. We are interested how humans evolved in this particular period. So I hope this is clear with regard to the time frame. Now let's understand that in this time period, we have different fossils. Okay, so it's not that fossils were found in India, Indian subcontinent, they were found in Africa as we know it. And in this period, we see that how Different kinds of evolvement happened of humans. You see here we have Homo erectus and Homo habilis. So we are looking at it. So let's see with regard to firstly the pre-human which was called as Australopithecus. Australopithecus means Australo means South, Australia, South. South means A. Okay, so 
इसको हम कहते हैं सदर एक नो दिस डेवलप्ड इन द प्लेसेस लाइक अफ्रीका हाउ हाउ मेनी इयर्स अगो अबाउट 5.5 मिलियन इयर्स अगो एज आई सेड प्री प्लेस्टोसी ओके नो दिस हैड मोर एप लाइक फीचर्स देन मैन ओके सो दिस इज 5.5 टू अबाउट 1.5 मिलियन इयर्स अगो सो वी आर कमिंग टुवर्ड्स प्लेस्टोसी पीरियड Isilia, we have studied about Pleistocene. So remember, during this time period, we have Australopithecus that had formed, and which is called as pre-humans. Further, this evolved into Homo habilis. ये आपने schools में पढ़ा होगा. Homo habilis evolved after Australopithecus, or you can say in the same time period where two to one point five million years ago. A more evolved man evolved, जहाँ पे the person or the humans there knew about various tools, okay, technology, okay. So with regard to they were very skillful, okay. They were called as handy, skillful man, okay. So Homo habilis, Homo habilis further evolved into a Homo erectus man, यानी कि and erect posture erect man walking on two feet alone so homo erectus this evolved in 1.8 to about 1.6 million years ago and further than this we have homo sapiens that evolved homo sapiens ka time frame jo hai is about 2 lakh 30,000 years ago to 30,000 years ago. Okay, so this was a time frame when we see this particular man that had evolved sapiens. Yani ki this it was more advanced man. It was resembling the Neanderthal man that was found in Europe in Germany. Okay, so this particular man more evolved, greater capacity of the brain as well. And further, Homo sapiens evolved into Homo sapiens sapiens, which is the modern man of today. Okay, so here in this time period, me, if we talk about this, evolved about uh, starting with around fifteen thousand years. That this period evolved. Okay, now remember, here we see how they started. the use of fire for example the homo erectus man had started the fire he was now evolving new kind of tools okay homo habilis mein humne dekha he was a handy skillful man he started using various tools okay but the tools were not very sharp the tools were not very polished but we see that alag alag tools had been started erect homo erectus man started with the fire we see that how they started evolving and now we have the homo sapiens sapiens to agar hum fossils ki baat karte hain we found fossils in africa but for us the understanding is mainly ki india mein ye kaise evolve hua kaise alag sites hain and of course various characteristics of this man okay So to understand this, we have to see India में कहाँ से वो fossils मिले हैं? India में, या Indian subcontinent में, we see that we have received fossils in a place called Siwalik. Okay, in Siwalik Hills, Potwar Plateau, यहाँ पे we have found fossils and we had named it. रामपिथेकस एंड सीवापिथेकस ओके ये दो फॉसिल्स हमको मिले हैं रामापिथेकस सीवापिथेकस रामापिथेकस इज कंसीडर्ड एज अ फीमेल फॉसिल ओके बट व्हेन द वी हैड स्टडीड अबाउट द फॉसिल वी रियलाइज दिस हैड मोर ए फीचर्स देन ह्यूमंस ओके सो रिमेंबर ऑस्ट्रलोपिथेकस व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज प्री ह्यूमन राइट तो यहां पे हमको ऐसे फॉसिल्स मिले and agar hum another fossil ki baat kare and you must have heard this which was called as the narmada man now this is again the name of a fossil okay so 
Narmada man belong to which kind of category here? They belong to Homo erectus. So this was a fossil belonging to the species or that kind of the, the Homo erectus man. Or ye Narmada kyo naam diya hai? Because it was found near the Narmada valley in the place called as Hathnora. This is in Madhya Pradesh. Take it. यहाँ पे हमको ये फॉसिल मिला है इसीलिए वी हैव नेम्ड इट एस नंबर ऑफ मैन एंड दिस इज मेनली इन 1982 दैट दिस फॉसिल हैड बीन एक्सकवेटेड सो वी हैव स्टडीड दैट कौन से फॉसिल्स इंडिया में मिले हैं बिकॉज़ दिस इज अगेन वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट एंड नाउ वी विल सी द द मेजर यू कैन से चेंजेस एंड द वेरियस ठीक है एक्सकवेशन करते हैं वी अंडरस्टूड द वेरियस साइट्स दैट हैव बीन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर पीरियड ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइम फ्रेम ओके सो वी गोइंग टू बी स्टडीइंग फर्स्टली अबाउट द स्टोन एज एंड जब हम स्टोन एज पीरियड की बात करते हैं और प्री हिस्टोरिक टाइम्स की बात करते हैं वी आर कंसर्न्ड विद थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट मेजर पीरियड्स पेलियोलिथिक मीसोलिथिक But prehistoric, you have 
लिटिल रिलैक्सड काइंड ऑफ एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग लगभग समझो पीरियड समझो ऐसा नहीं कि इतना मैंने रिलैक्स बोला है कि ऐसा मत लिखने ना कि छ लाख से पेयर लेते छह लाख से वन थाउजेंड बीसी हुआ ऐसा मत लिखना लगभग उस पीरियड में अगर कुछ आपने एक हजार साल दो हजार साल अगर मिनिमाइज या मैक्सिमाइज की दैट डज नॉट हैव अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज बिकॉज दिस पीरियड आल्सो इवॉल्व इन वेरियस प्लेसेस इन दिस पीरियड जैसे कि अगर हम न्यूलिथिक पीरियड की बात करते हैं योर रेफरेंस बुक्स विल मोस्टली से दैट दिस पीरियड इवॉल्व फ्रॉम सेवन थाउजेंड बी टू अबाउट थ्री थाउजेंड बी बट साउथ इंडिया में वी सॉ द न्यूलिथिक कल्चर राइट अप टू 2000 or 1000 BC, okay? So that is a good thing that we know. यहाँ पे आपको dates जब आप पढ़ते हो, don't be very stern on yourself, but understand the rough time period for each of these periods ताकि आप उसको exam में उसी सम उसी time frame में लिखो और समझो. So let's now begin with the first period, which is the Paleolithic period. So let's start with studying the prehistoric times. And as I have seen, told you before, ये prehistoric times हम तीन अलग-अलग हिस्सों में समझते हैं। तो कौन सा ऐसा हिस्सा है? Let's write that down. First period is Paleolithic. Okay, please write this down. Paleolithic. Then comes Mesolithic. And finally, Neolithic. Paleolithic period. Start hua in the five lakh BC to across ten thousand BC. Is time ki liye na the Paleolithic age. Mesolithic age kab hai? It is about nine thousand BC to across four thousand BC. And Neolithic period. Is from seven thousand BC to about two thousand BC. Now, some of you must have got a doubt. कि ये nine thousand to four thousand है, तो ये तो four thousand से two thousand होना चाहिए. Why have I mentioned seven thousand to two thousand? You must have got the doubt. If not, that's good. But if you got the doubt, that is also good because here it is important to clear this. राइट एट द स्टार्ट कि जब मैं टाइम पीरियड्स की बात करती हूं या एज की बात करती हूं इट इज नॉट दैट द मैन कंप्लीटली इवॉल्व इन टू द न्यूलिथिक मैन और न्यूलिथिक एज इट इज अ स्लो एंड ग्रेजुअल प्रोसेस इट टेक्स इयर्स टूगेदर हम ये थाउजेंड ऑफ इयर्स की बात कर रहे हैं ओके वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट 10, 20, 30, 40 years. We're talking about thousand of years. So, अलग अलग parts of the world में this period evolved जहाँ पे the man was using a set of tools. Now imagine in one part of the world evolve होता है gradually of this Neolithic man who had more knowledge about tools. Who tried about new occupations altogether, and that was followed for generations after generations, and that is how it spread over after maybe a thousand years later, right? So यहाँ पे इसीलिए we see that there is no clear demarcations of these ages. इस time period में भी कुछ जगह पे mainly the man would probably more evolved. And he started with changing the way or lifestyle of himself. Clear? So, in this year, we say nine thousand to four thousand, and it began seven thousand. It went all the way up to two thousand BC. Clear? Now, talking about the Paleolithic period, this can be further divided into three periods. Now, what are the three periods? Please write that down with me. The first one is called early. और लोअर पेलियोलिथिक पीरियड ओके दूसरा पीरियड है मिडिल पेलियोलिथिक पीरियड एंड फाइनली द अपर पेलियोलिथिक पीरियड ओके नाउ जस्ट फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर 
ओके कैसे कौन सा पहले आता है अपर होता है या लोअर होता है ऑफकोर्स इट इज इजियर टू अंडरस्टैंड बट वी जस्ट गिव इट अ क्लियर कॉन्सेप्शन अंडरस्टैंड ये पीरियड्स ओके जहां पे एक्सकवेशन होता है दिस इज द लोएस्ट पार्ट जहां पे एक्सकवेशन होता है देन द सेकंड पार्ट इज कॉल्ड एज अ मिडिल एंड द थर्ड वन इज अपर ओके सो रिमेंबर एक्सकवेशन करके द नीचे में जो उनको टूल्स मिले हैं द टाइप ऑफ यू कैन से पोट्री मिला है जो भी इक्विपमेंट्स मिला है दैट विल बी कंसीडर्ड एज द लोएस्ट या लोअर पीरियड फिर आता है मिडिल पार्ट में and then upper will be the more advanced and the more recent time frame and that is how we can divide these three periods isi hisab se lower yani ki sabse purana sabse earliest period okay that is why it's called the early or the lower period isiliye ye time frame mein break out karungi in the different aspects so paleolithic period that began from 5 lakh to 10000 bc ye hum divide kar sakte hain further into 5 lakh to 1 lakh bc okay 1 lakh bc middle paleolithic ye hum divide kar sakte hain from 1 lakh bc to about 40000 bc okay some books also have 35000 that's okay then you have 40000 bc to 10000 आई वुड सजेस्ट यू कि आप इसको इसी टाइम फ्रेम में समझो डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज ओके दिस हैज बीन एन ऑथेंटिक सोर्स ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन दैट यू कैन रेफर टू यही टाइम पीरियड में और ये समझने के लिए भी इजी है 5 टू 1 1 टू 40 40 टू 10 ओके नाउ वी आर आल्सो गोइंग टू कोलेट दिस विद आवर जो हमने स्टार्ट में किया था प्लियोसीन एंड प्लिस्टोसीन एंड होलोसीन याद है आपको 1.8 million years ago say all the way there are 11000 so you see 11 upper and middle was mainly in the pleistocene epoch a period right whereas upper mein jab hum jaate hain 11000 onwards right is going to be a new kind of period Okay, and that is why probably the man had to evolve according to the change in the climate. Why change in the climate? Because हम कहते हैं ice age period and post ice age period. Ice age यानी कि ठंडी glaciation वाला period and post uh, uh, post ice age period में it is the climate is becoming warmer. So remember, we have to collate and uh, understand these things. इन अ कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव मैनर कि क्लाइमेट में क्या चेंजेस है इसीलिए मॉडर्न मैन मैन में क्या चेंजेस लेट्स गेट बैक दिस इज अ टी थ्री टाइम फ्रेम नाउ वाई आर वी डिवाइडिंग दिस टाइम फ्रेम क्यों मैंने अपर मिडिल और अपर लोअर पेरियर लिथिंग में डिवाइड किया है इसको द रीजन बिकॉज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ द टूल्स जो टूल्स मिले हैं अलग अलग पीरियड में वो एक समान नहीं थे दे वर डिफरेंट एंड दैट इज वाई वी गिव देम डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ डिमार्केशन सो इफ यू सी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइम पीरियड जो टूल्स मिले हैं सो वट काइंड ऑफ टूल्स है लिखा है 
But Africa may have started back, you can say, about 2 million years ago, where you find the traces of this particular man that evolved. Okay? And this time period, we have to keep in mind that this is not the Homo sapiens sapiens we are talking about, right? Homo sapiens sapiens, if you remember, when it 15,000 uh, BC se bataya hai. Right, so this is mainly the man that slowly evolved from a Homo erectus, a Homo habilis to Homo erectus to Homo sapiens. Right, so here slowly the man is evolving. This is why his tools evolve. This is why his occupation evolves. So, we have to keep in mind when we study. You don't have to mug up things. If you understand these things, you will be able to answer any prelims question based on your understanding alone. Alright, so let's get back. When we talk about tools, here they had heavier tools and these tools were used for chopping, for digging purpose, or even for skinning purpose. So use of these tools were mainly to chop, for digging, to chop, maybe large animals, to chop, dig karna hai or even for skinning yani ki jo animals ka skin nikalne ke liye jo bhi hai so these are the various uses of the various tools kaun se kaun se sites hai for the upper paleolithic period so the sites that we can remember is son son valley okay ya yeah, even it's called of you written as sohar this is in uh, the region of Punjab, okay? And we are talking about the Indian subcontinent. So, here Punjab will, uh, will be Pakistan side, okay? So, remember this. We are Indian subcontinent ki baat kar rahe, before independence. So, remember, Indian subcontinent is what we are going to be studying. Even when we are doing, when we see Harappa, right? Many sites that are there in Pakistan, sites are there in India, okay? Going ahead, we have in uh, regions of Kashmir and Thar as well. Okay, which sites of this origin that have been formed. Thar Desert in Rajasthan. We have also found in Belan Valley. Belan Valley kaha hai? Belan Valley in Uttar Pradesh. Okay, then there is Didwana which is in Rajasthan. Okay, these are the various sites that have been found. South India maybe there are various sites that have been evolved. So Adiram Pakka. Okay, this is in Tamil Nadu. Okay, and along with this, we can also talk about Vidamadurai and Godiam. Godiam as well as Tamil Nadu. Okay? So these are the various sites that you remember for early or lower Paleolithic. Okay, or again other other sites I'm going to be giving in your notes. Abhi ke liye examples aapko yaad rakhne hai. To yaha pe kuch examples aap yaad rakh sakte hai. Let's get to the next site. Now middle Paleolithic hum divide karte hai on the basis of tools. To yaha pe you remember the tools have changed. How the tools have changed? Here the tools are called as flakes. Okay, that means jo man tha bhi, he they started polishing their tools. Okay. Jobby tools, jo bought heavy chopping, the, like very uh, huge, the, they started making it more polished. They started it making more sharp. So, the, hence, these flakes are mainly examples like blades, borers, okay, scrapers. Taki jo kaam hai, maybe skinning karna hai, they need something very sharp. You cannot use a very coarse kind of a tool, okay? So, if I'm using this kind of a tool, which is very difficult to use, I'm going to use a more refined kind of tool to mainly do some kind of an activity, right? So, we see, we see that more polished kind of tools are evolved in the middle period. We see that this time frame is called as middle period. Now, what are the sites? You will find similar sites that are there. Like Bimbenka, uh, we also find which is in 
Madhya Pradesh. And remember, this site is important because here the rock cut architecture, the rock cut prehistoric paintings, when we talk about it, we study this in art and culture. ये यहाँ पे हमको इनफॉरमेशन देता है कि what could be the occupation of the people, what was the social organization of the people during those times, okay? And then we find Loni in Rajasthan, okay? Chittur as well as Karnool in the south. साउथ के भी साइट्स आप ध्यान में रखना, because मैच तो फॉलोइंग आ सकता है प्रीलिम्स में, एनीथिंग एंड एनीथिंग कैन कॉल यूपीएससी कैन आस, सो रिमेम्बर रिमेम्बर दी साइट्स इस बार, सो रिमेम्बर ऑक्यूपेशन क्या था ऑफ़ द पेलियोलिथिक मैन, इट वाज मेली हंटिंग एंड फूड गैदरिंग, ओके यानी कि मे� that is what the major occupation or you can say that is what was their livelihood, how they were able to sustain themselves. Okay, so remember this. So that is why the type of tools we have to be able to do in the same way. And then finally we have the upper paleolithic and here you find the period, remember, it is the last phase where the glaciation or the ice age period is there. Because 11,000 BC bar we have the Holocene period. So here it's the last phase and that is why we study about the Paleolithic phase and do remember this slowly now after glaciation ke baat kya hota hai? There will be more of presence of grasslands. Right? After the ice has melted you will find what? Grasslands that will come up. Right? The temperature will be getting warmer. Plant species will be there in abundance. Okay, so remember these aspects when we talk about it. And then we find that the type of tools that were used were blades. Okay, upper paleolithic we have a type of tools are blade. Then we have scrapers. We have burins. And these again tools were more polished. These kind of tools were more polished. And if you talk about the different sites that are there, we have Son Valley, Baylor Valley, Bimbetka, and Yahape. This was the time. Period, जहाँ पे upper Paleolithic में we find the presence of the prehistoric art. The first evidence of prehistoric art is time period में. Okay? तो prehistoric art यहाँ पे हमको information मिलता है about the social organization of the masses during this period. यानी कि उस time पे because of the paintings of the period, we understand ki what they would hunt. Okay, what was their strategy? We understand what kind of tools, bows and arrows. Sab kuch hamko pata chalta hai because of the paintings. So here remember, the paintings tell us that they moved in bands. Bands ka matlab kya hai? It is group of people going together for hunting. Okay, so this पेंटिंग्स के थ्रू हमको पता चलता है दैट दे फॉर्म्ड एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मेनली अ सेट ऑफ 25 पीपल गोइंग टुगेदर फॉर हंटिंग बिकॉज़ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लार्ज एनिमल्स राइट लार्ज एनिमल्स तो ये जो लार्ज एनिमल है देन वुड बी फॉर द डिवाइडेड अमंग द पीपल देमसेल्स सो दैट दे कुड फीड देयर फैमिली और दे कुड फीड देयर पीपल दैट वर लिविंग बिकॉज़ दैट टाइम द कांसेप्ट ऑफ Marriage, your family had not evolved, right? They were just living in groups. So that is where they can feed their groups. And this is where uh, we talk about the period where hunting gathering evolved. Hunting gathering was carried on. The evidence of cave art began. So this was about the Paleolithic period. 
Now let's move on and understand about the Mesolithic period. Okay, so if we talk about the Mesolithic period, we are talking about 9000 to 4000 BC. Now, do you remember, again I am repeating this, this period is Pleistocene period or Holocene period? Hai? This period is Holocene period, 11,000 BC ke baad. Okay, uske pehle kya hai? Ice Age period hai. Ye period is called as the post Ice Age period. Now where the earth is warming up, the temperature is coming down. Okay, to bahut saare alag changes honge, jiske kaaran man jo hai, he will also start with a different kind of an occupation along with hunting and gathering. He will have new kind of tools. Okay, because man has to evolve according to the times. Not just today, but even back then. So let's understand which are changes, which are sites hai, and so on. So Mesolithic is a transition period from Paleolithic and Neolithic period. Okay, remember in transition period hai, it's called the middle or the Mesolithic period. When we talk about this period, ki baat karte hai, the occupation of this is again hunting and gathering. And a part of this, the, the, this kind of animal, this kind of man started also, started slowly domestication of animals. Okay. In the later phase, domestication of animals also began. Now let's understand how did the type of tools change. Now tools can say hoge during this period. The tools were mainly microliths. Microliths ka matlab hai tiny tools. Okay, small tools. And these tiny tools were essential for a number of things. Pehle samajhte hai ye chote tools. Why did these small tools evolve? Okay, so let's understand. Holocene period hai. That means climate kaisa hai? Cold hai or warm hai? Holocene is post-ice age. Post-ice age yani ki climate will be warmer. Right? Jo climate warm hoga, yaha pe jo animals hai, okay, these animals were mainly large. Right? You must have seen an Ice Age movie. If not, you must have seen a poster. Ice Age movie, just like that, big size elephant, hota hai, very hairy elephant. Okay, so those animals are usually large, so the body heat, you know, will be maintained. Right? You normally have those big animals. Now these animals, when the temperature is becoming cold, either they will become extinct or they will migrate to colder places. Right, migrate hongye to colder places, to colder regions. So, jab hi bade animals nahi hongye, man has to hunt for smaller animals. The smaller animals will now be have to be hunted. Or iske liye, man has to either run fast because yeh chote animals hai, bhoat tezi, tezi se baakte hai. So either you have to run fast or you need to have an equipment that you can catch them by being far off. Right? Yani ki istamal karke things like bow and arrow. Right? That means new tools that need to be evolved. We cannot have huge tools okay, for hunting now. We need sharper tools, precise and flexible tools so that kya hai? These fast animals for that we need tools according to this. So, in this way, we see that new tools have evolved. And if I have to take this further, later on, kya hota hai? Now the man will not run. Pehle, you know, there was an activity. So now, the man does not have to run and the body weight, body weight or body fat will now increase. Because now the new tools are helping him without running. So this will increase the body fat in an, uh, in man. Body fat jab increase hota hai, this is going to increase the fertility 
ओके स्टेरॉइड्स फर्टिलिटी इंक्रीज होता है व्हेन यू हैव मोर बॉडी फैट ओके दिस इज साइंटिफिक प्रूवन डेटा तो जब फर्टिलिटी इंक्रीज होता है दैट मींस इंक्रीज इन पॉपुलेशन राइट पॉपुलेशन बढ़ेगा अगर फर्टिलिटी इंक्रीज होगी जब पॉपुलेशन बढ़ेगा दैट मींस फूड रिसोर्सेस चाहिए होगा यू विल रिक्वायर मोर अमाउंट ऑफ फूड प्रोडक्शन फॉर द पॉपुलेशन and that is why the period then evolved to a neolithic revolution okay so now you understand jaise hum connect kar rahe hain dono aspects ko dono parts ko the reason why population increase population increase hone se you required more food surplus food to feed the population and that is why we said a new kind of occupation that begins in the Neolithic period, which is agriculture. Coming back to Mesolithic period. So Mesolithic period, we have seen that climate change is happening, and that is why new tools have evolved. New tools like microliths evolved. And another uh, way that we can understand this also is when temperature decreases, uh, in fact, temperature becomes warm during the Holocene period. The nights still become cooler. Okay, so let's understand this aspect as well. Holocene period. Okay. The snow is melting. The temperature is getting warmer. And you see here, the body hair of the man, okay, also the young man that time starts reducing. Okay, body hair come hota hai because now. Adapting होते हैं हम इसको, right? The body hair is shedding off also because now you don't require that extra layer of hair on the body to keep you cold or to keep you warm. तो body hair कम होता है और body hair जब कम होता है, that is better for maybe the day. But in the night what happens? Night is still cold, right? And then you require some extra shelter for your hut as well as for your clothing. Okay, and that is you see, how they evolve. Hota hai, huts how they evolve. Hota hai, with a covering as well as clothes required to cover the body for cold nights. Okay, so this is where you see tiny tools are required. मेरी स्टिच करने के लिए, बांधने के लिए, हट्स में कवर करने के लिए, राइट यू रिक्वायर्ड डिफरेंट पॉइंटर्स एंड बोरर्स फॉर दिस एस्पेक्ट जैसे नीडल्स की बात करते हैं, यू रिक्वायर समथिंग फाइन, राइट? सो दिस इज़ हाउ वी सी स्मॉलर टूल्स इवोल्ट। सो लेट्स नाउ गेट बैक एंड अंडरस्टैंड with regard to the different sites that were there, Adamgarh. Adamgarh is the site which sees the first evidence of domestication of animals. Remember this, okay? Adamgarh, this is the earliest site of domestication. This is a site in Madhya Pradesh. Along with this, we have Bagor, okay? Bagor is a site in Rajasthan. Then we have Langanaj, which is a site in Gujarat. Okay, you need to remember these sites. Now, along with this, we also find a number of other evidences, not just tools. When we talk about archaeology, we don't only talk about tools. We talk about various other things. What are they? So evidences ki jab hum baat karte hain, we have found things like quorns, mullers, okay now what are these? Quorns ka matlab kya hai? Jaysay chutney banane ke liye, you know, you, you require those quorns or mullers where you require for, uh, for chakki piecene ke liye, you have these mullers. So that also is found. Now when you receive, when you find those kind of Evidences, is the camera that that means the man consumed even 
वेजिटेबल्स और ग्रेन्स ग्रेन्स को ही हम पीसते हैं राइट तो इसीलिए यू सी दैट सर्टेन वाइल्ड ग्रेन्स हैव बीन आल्सो फाउंड एज वेल एज सर्टेन स्टोरेज पिट्स इसीलिए इस पीरियड को हम कहते हैं एन इंसिपियंट स्टेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर यानी कि एग्रीकल्चर का ट्रेसेस हैव बीन फाउंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर पीरियड but mainly in the rudimentary form it was not widely spread what is the major occupation of this period this period also had as i said hunting and gathering and domestication of animals theek hai but incipient stage of agriculture because of the storage pits storage pits kis ke liye use karte hain to store certain grains right so that is we can see apart from this we have found herds हर्स क्या होता है चूल्हा समझा आपने टू मे रोस्ट सो यहाँ पे बताता है कि प्रोबेबली मस्ट हैव रोस्टेड द एनिमल्स बिफोर कंज्यूमिंग इट सो दिस यू हैव टू रिमेंबर हर्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट देर हैव द हाउसेस जो थे वो कैसे थे द हाउसेस वर ओवल और सर्क्यूलर दे है रूफ थैच रूफ बिकॉज ठंडी से बचने के लिए हमने देखा है राइट एंड दे हैव पेव फ्लोर ओके पेव फ्लोर स्टोन से बने हुए वी सी दैट द फ्लोर ऑल्सो हैड कैन से कवरिंग यहां पर वी फाइंड एविडेंसिस ऑफ पॉटरी एज वेल ओके स्मॉल पॉट्स दट आर फाउंड बट दीज आर होली हाथ से बने हुए हैंड वे Neolithic period में we see that the pottery was wheel made, जैसे अभी के टाइम में wheel made pottery that have been found. And Chalcolithic इसके बाद में जो हम देखेंगे Chalcolithic में the pottery was painted. Okay, so you remember this evidence of pottery was found in the Mesolithic period. So this was with regard to the Mesolithic period, जहाँ पे we see the occupation. the tools and the various sites and why this particular period worked and finally we are going to move on to the neolithic age very important age because we see that agriculture begins with this particular period and now let's move on to the last age or the last part of stone age that is the neolithic period or the neolithic age जो नियोलिथिक एज है ये स्टार्ट होता है 7000 थाउजेंड बीसी से हवेवर इन दर पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड नियोलिथिक पीरियड स्टार्टेड अबाउट 9000 थाउजेंड बीसी बट इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट की बात करते हैं देन वी फाइंड नियोलिथिक एज बिगिन्स फ्रॉम 7000 थाउजेंड बीसी एंड स्पेसिफिकली कौन से साइट में हम देखते हैं द साइट इज कॉल्ड मेहरगर Okay. Now Mehrgarh is called as the bread basket of Baluchistan. Okay, this is we're talking in terms of the Indian subcontinent, and ये जो Bolan River के पास site है Mehrgarh, which is near the Kochi Plain. This is an important Neolithic site. So let us understand what were the different characteristics of the Neolithic period. Now this period is important because man now starts to produce food. यानी कि agriculture is now an important occupation in the Neolithic period. Now generally, if you must have read some books about the Stone Age, you will find this term called as the Neolithic Revolution. Have you heard of this? पर्टिकुलर टर्म न्यूलिथिक रेवल्यूशन ये जो टर्म है ये दिया गया था बाय अ पर्सन कॉल्ड एस गॉर्डन चाइल्ड ओके सो ही कॉल्स इट एस नॉट न्यूलिथिक पीरियड बट न्यूलिथिक रेवल्यूशन नो व्हेन यू से रेवल्यूशन हमने सुना है तो फ्रेंच रेवल्यूशन नो रेवल्यूशन मीन्स समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी Drastically changing a particular scenario. तो क्या हम Neolithic period को Neolithic revolution कह सकते हैं The question is, 
is Neolithic a revolution altogether? Now let's understand why is it said that it is a revolution. That is because firstly agriculture begins in this period. Man from food gatherer and food hunter abhi kya ho raha hai? He is a food producer. From shortage of food Now there will be surplus of food. Jiske karan we will also see a number of potteries that may be made taki us grains ko hum store kar sake. Correct? So this is considered as a revolution because before before Neolithic period what was the scenario? Yahape we see that man was nomadic he used to move around from one place to another in search of food. He was a food gatherer, hunter. Right? So, here we see that he was a, he was a nomadic. Yani ki, moving from one place to another. That man is now becoming settled. Yani ki, after Neolithic period, we find that now man is settled. Right? Before, he used to do hunting and gathering he is to look in search of food but now he is growing his own food and that will lead to settled life that will also lead from a kind of a rural line landscape where there have been bands they used to move around in small bands right we have seen ki kaise organization hota tha. it was mainly these bands which were small in number now the population is going to increase or ye jo population increase hoga this will give rise to villages altogether large settled living and that is why he terms this as a neolithic revolution all right now let us see what are the characteristics, what are the various sites of Neolithic period. So starting with, let's understand the sites. So just to make it very clear, I will demarcate this particular aspect as Neolithic so that there is no confusion. Okay, so we are sites ki baat kar rahe hai. and which sites are we hai. Now, I can talk about the various sites of Neolithic period in various parts of India. So, here we see that Neolithic sites are located in Northwest. Neolithic sites are present in Northeast. And Neolithic sites are present in South India. Okay. Now, which sites are sites? They are also written in the northwest part of India. That is, in the Kashmir region, ke paas, we find two important sites. That is, Burzo and Gufral. You have to remember these sites because it is important for prelims. But, if you want to Neolithic sites, ke mein batana ho, hai, art and culture, mein, then you have to give examples of the sites, right? So, you have at least good sites dhyan mein rakhna hi hai. So, talking about Burzum, Burzum, jo hai, the actual literal meaning is the place of birch. Okay? It is called as the place of birch. Birch, yani ki, it's a type of a tree. Similarly, Gufral ka matlab kya hai? It is a potter's cave. Okay? Or a cave of a potter. So that is the meaning of the term. Now in sites mein, humko kya kya mile hai, wo bhi discuss karte hai. Now Burzum was mainly on the other lake side. Okay? Burzum ka jo site hai is near a lake. Which says that the people there 
probably also did fishing. So other than agriculture, dusra occupation kya hai? Fishing. We also see something remarkable in this site that burials hote the, right? They bury the dead. So yaha pe, only in this site that you have found a dog is buried with a master. Okay, a man and a dog are buried together, which is not found in any other Neolithic site. So, something important to remember for your prelims. And here we we see that along with Bursum, we have another site which is called as Gufral, where agriculture was practiced. And along agriculture, what is the next occupation here? Animal husbandry. So we talked about domestication of animals that was also practiced in the Mesolithic period, later part of Mesolithic, correct? So here we have occupations practiced in the Mesolithic So we are discussing the sites but we are also discussing about the characteristics of the period. So far you have understood that what is the major occupation? Agriculture. Along with agriculture, you have animal husbandry as well as fishing. Examples we de sakte hain across that particular, uh, you can say, occupation. Then let's understand what are the tools that were used. So we have found some tools in this particular sites as well. Tools ki jab hum baat karte hain, in these particular sites, we find stone tools as well as Bone tools. So here tools are not just made of stones. They are also made of bones. And these tools were also very polished. Alright. So that is something that you have to remember with regard to tools that have been found. Other than this, we have also found pottery in these sites. Kaise pottery mila hai? Pottery which is mainly coarse grey wear. Coast grey way. So you remember we have found handmade pottery in the Mesolithic period. But abhi jo pottery humko milenge, it is going to be through a potter's wheel or the wheel made pottery. Okay, so more sophisticated uh, type of pottery. Or ye jo pottery hai, this will have various functions. Okay, now they are going to make pottery mainly for certain functions. Like for example, they will utilize these potteries for eating, drinking, storing, all of the uh, functions that have mainly uh, been used for these kind of potteries. So it's not for show or not just an artifact. Okay. Then we find with regard to the next particular site, which is Northeast. Okay. So let's understand what are the various sites in Northeast. Now Northeast. That means we have the regions of Assam Hills, we have regions of Garo Hills, Garo Hills kaha pe hai? Meghalaya and Uttar Pradesh ke side may be, okay, we have Uttar Pradesh, we have certain sites. So here we have the sites of Koldiva as well as Chiran. Okay, ye good sites hamari eastern side as well as northeastern side mein aapko dhyan mein rakhna hai mainly for the neolithic culture okay and finally if you talk about south india sites in the south again we have found a number of sites okay now let's understand what are the various sites so we have maski brahmagiri Payampalli, Uttanur, okay, so Maski and uh, Brahmagiri, Karnataka, Payampalli, Tamil Nadu, Uttanur, Andhra Pradesh, okay, these are some examples of Desh Sakti Hain for your South Indian states. Now you have noticed we have discussed three important regions where the Neolithic sites were present. Now the question that should come to your mind is why Neolithic sites that we see are present in this particular region. 
Assam hills, in the north, in the south. Now, what is the reason where, why they were located in that particular region? You will see that the Neolithic sites to here, either they will be located near the rivers, okay, the river valleys. Why will river valleys be located? Honge? For water, right? You must have seen Indus Valley civilization, which is near the Indus River. Similarly, for agricultural purposes, for water, for the basic requirement and necessities, they require water and this is the river valleys. So, yani ki, like Chiran, hai, Oliva, hai. you have Ganga as the major river. South of um, the Godavari River, we have certain important sites here. But, and even lakeside, we think of fishing, okay, Burjo. So, river valleys. And the second important sites where you will find is the hills. Now, why do you think Neolithic people wanted to settle hills ke pass? What is the reason? Hills you important ho gay? Hills ke wajah se they would get stones which they would require to make various number of tools. So, easily you will find Neolithic sites either in hills or river valleys. And that is why you have number of hills like Assam hills, Garo hills, right? And even in the south, in fact, bohat sari sites here, you will find near hills because there was easy availability of stone. Okay, easily, if you say the largest number of sites that have been found of Neolithic, they will always be in the south. Megalithic architecture. Okay, stones ka zada use hai. Let's get back and now understand further what are the various other characteristics. So, we have covered the cover kya hai sites of the Neolithic period. We have also touched upon a few characteristics of Neolithic period. Let's understand a few more characteristics. So, when we characteristics ki jab hum baat karte hai, we find that uh, as I said, animal husbandry was formed or occupation, jab hum baat karte hai, the major livelihood, they were also domesticating animals. Right? So, the domestication of animals, what kind of animals did they domesticate? If you get a question with regard to your prelims, so cattle, sheep, goat, these are the type of animals that you will find that the uh, people domesticated. Agriculture hota tha, right? We talked about agriculture. But ye agriculture konse crops would they grow? Okay, so this was with regard to rice, wheat. Okay, uh, other than this we also find with regard to barley, ragi, horse gram, Examples of the handwritten hai. And we also find the type of housings. Okay, just say we have the oval or circular in Mesolithic period. Here you will find circular or even rectangular houses. Okay, and these houses hai, they will be made of mud or reed. Okay. Further, we will see the kind of pottery that was used in this particular period, which was the first time you find the wheel-made pottery. And here, the pottery tha, it was generally a black burnished ware pottery or a grey ware pottery. Okay, so these are the types of potteries that you will find in this particular period. Or ye jo pottery se, it was generally for storing grains, for cooking, for eating, for drinking. These were the functions that were mainly performed using these potteries. And finally, talking about the various tools present in this period. Kaun se alag tools present hai? Jaisi ki, sets, axes, aids, Okay, there were tools like uh, we can say chisels. And why were the tools used? Ye tools you use karenge? 
for agriculture you need to sow the seeds right so starting with scattering of grains that they realized ki chalo crops grow hote but then they started improving with the process and they started now sowing the seeds deep because they realized jab wo andar jayenge to hi grow honge if they are on the ground they they have very less chances to actually grow correct so that's when they started using tilling digging the ground and they started putting the seeds okay so these probably were used like cells were used mainly for tilling the ground just like a hoe or a hull jaisa plow shell uski tarah use hota hai okay so we see great technological progress in the neolithic period and yahan pe they dependent on tools weapons and that is why you see where the location of these sites were as well So this marks the end of Stone Age, but we are not done with our topic yet. ठीक है हमको और एक prehistoric culture समझना है and again this particular culture हम prehistoric में क्यों डाल रहे हैं because इस particular culture इस particular phase में we don't find any written evidences. Okay, so that is why we are strongly relying only on our archaeological remains. So, what is this particular site? Let us understand. And this, अगर मैं कहती हूँ कि this is not part of Stone Age, then what kind of phase it will be? Let's understand. So, talking about this particular phase, we understand that यहाँ पे stones were probably used but with stones there was another material another metal that was used and that is why this period is called as chalcolithic culture okay to ye jo chalcolithic culture hai this began in the phase or you can say the time frame of 4500 bc all the way up to 1000 bc now again you see the time frame Neolithic phase हमने डिस्कस किया है सेवन थाउजेंड से टू थाउजेंड सो ये जो टाइम पीरियड है जो फेज है इट काइंड ऑफ क्लैश वेन द न्योलिथिक साइट्स दैट वो प्रेजेंट इन इंडिया एंड इट इज ऑल्सो क्लैशिंग विद वन मोर अदर पीरियड कौन सा ऐसा पीरियड है उस टाइम फ्रेम में वी फाइंड द हरप्पन पीरियड हरप्पा फेज जो है द मच्योर हरप्पा इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ओनली 2600 say 1700 right so that means it is in the same time frame in fact pre harappan phase harappan phase as well as in the post harappan phase you are finding this chalcolithic phase overlapping correct to yahan pe hum dekhenge about this particular phase or culture that developed in india Chalcolithic, as the name suggests, अगर मैं ये दो हिस्सों में डिवाइड करूं चालको मीन्स कॉपर लिथिक मीन्स स्टोन सो हेन्स इट्स कॉल्ड एज द स्टोन कॉपर फेस इट इज कॉल्ड एज द स्टोन कॉपर फेस इट्स द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट फर्स्ट मेटल दैट वॉज यूज वॉज कॉपर ओके स्टोन के बाद कौन सा पहला मेटल यूज हुआ है इट वॉज कॉपर and here we find that even though हम कहते हैं कि 4500 से 1000 BC right it was the same time period where IBC was there then why is it हम दो different phases के बारे में बता रहे हैं why do you think IBC and Chalcolithic were different even though they were the same contemporaries of this time now you remember जो हरप्पन फेज है आईवीसी है इट इज वॉट इज द प्राइमरी मेटल दैट वॉज यूज बैक देन उसको कौन सा एज कहते हैं हम इट इज कॉल्ड एज द ब्रॉन्स एज वेर एज चार्कोलिथिक फेज इज रिलाइंग प्राइमरिली ऑन कॉपर हरप्पा इज मेनली एन अर्बन सिविलाइजेशन राइट द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ अर्बनाइजेशन इज मेनली हरप्पा द टाउन प्लानिंग Uh, the drainage system, the grid pattern of roads. जब हम कहते हैं इट्स अर्बन सिविलाइजेशन चार्कोलिथिक ऑन दी अदर हैंड इज 
rural in character. Or इसीलिए there are differences between Chalcolithic and Harappa. Now let's understand the various sites of Chalcolithic. Okay. Now because it is spread out in India and across various regions, इसीलिए इस Chalcolithic culture को हम अलग अलग cultures में बताते हैं सो एग्जाम्पल अगर द कल्चर इज इन राजस्थान विच इज इन द साइज ऑफ आहार एंड गिलुंड ओके या आहार एंड बानस इट्स कॉल्ड एज द आहार बानस कल्चर दिस पर्टिकुलर कल्चर डेवलप इन राजस्थान सिमिलरली Chalcolithic culture that developed in Maharashtra. इस culture का नाम है जोरवे culture. इस culture का नाम है जोरवे culture. ये कहां पर develop हुआ Maharashtra. In Madhya Pradesh, okay, Madhya Pradesh में जो culture है वो called as the Malwa culture. In MP. Now, इस पर्टिकुलर रीजन में इस कल्चर में वी सी दैट दे काइंड ऑफ डेवलप्ड सेटल लाइफ एग्रीकल्चर है राइट इट्स लाइक अ विलेज तो वहां की जो फीचर्स है वहां के मे बी द क्रॉप्स है दे मे बी डिफरेंट देन यू फाइंड इन अनदर रीजन फॉर एग्जाम्पल आहार बारिश कल्चर राजस्थान में है द रीजन इज वेरी ड्राई बट सिमिलरली टॉक अबाउट इन सेंट्रल रीजन द डेकन रीजन मालवा रीजन We find the black cotton soil. यहां पर cotton grow होता था and that is why we also found spindle walls. जो weaving के लिए इस्तेमाल होता है you find that in the Malwa region, which talks about that they practiced weaving, अलग अलग different occupations, अलग अलग different arts and crafts. Okay? So आहार बहानस culture में we find uh, sites like आहार बानस and gilon and these are what the sites in rajasthan jorwe culture mein we find the sites of inamga daimabad now why am i giving these sites because questions aise hi aaye hain okay like for example harappa mein question tha i think about in 2018 or 2019 mein they gave you four sites and they asked you which of them is not a harappan site so similarly your bsc can give you four maybe 10 sites and they can ask you ki kaun sa isme chalcolithic site nahi hai theek hai isliye sites dhyan mein rakhna hai aapko inamgaon daimabad these are all the sites of jorwe culture similarly we have malwa culture malwa culture ke sites hai eran navdatoli okay and okay and kaita so these are some sites that you have to remember let's now understand the various characteristics of the chalcolithic culture to so, kaun se aise tools use karte the wahan ka occupation kya hota hai uh, us time period mein what is the pottery that was used all of this is what we are going to understand now so starting with the tools okay tools ki jab hum baat karte hain we understand that these use tiny tools okay small tiny tools that we use and they were mainly the blades and the bladelets that we use during this period okay smaller tools that we use maybe for digging purpose maybe for cutting purpose these were mainly the tools that you find in this period the kind of pottery that we find and this is very important because यहां पे पहली बार यू विल फाइंड दैट द पॉटरी इज पेंटेड ओके सो यू फाइंड ब्लैक एंड रेड बेर पॉटरी व्हिच इज आल्सो प्रेजेंट इन हरप्पन सिविलाइजेशन हरप्पन पीरियड में भी ब्लैक एंड रेड बेर है बिकॉज अगेन कंटेम्प्रेरीज है राइट सो इसके अलावा यू आल्सो फाइंड ऑक्का कलर्ड पॉटरी ओ सी पी ऑक्का कलर्ड पॉटरी ओके फर्दर देन दिस We also find ki alag-alag types of pottery बने So there was 
a channel on a, a sprouted pot there was a dish on stand there was um, you know uh, the bowl on stand alag alag type of ceramics banaye the because alag alag inka use hai they you see a number of different kind of different types of pottery during this period talking about the occupation that was there okay or the type of livelihood that they had you find what is the occupation agriculture right to so agriculture mein bhi kaun se kaun se crops that were done like we saw in the neolithic period there were pulses there were wheat rice bajra pulses mein you also find lentils you find grams okay you find blue gram black gram alag alag types of seeds so zyada in fact number of type of crops that you find in the charcoalithic period in ke alawa we also domesticated animals domestication of animals also was present to yahan pe kaun se kaun se animals were domesticated we understand like the same thing in neolithic cow sheep goat then you have buffaloes all of this was domesticated during this period we also find that they performed fishing aur humko kaise pata chala hai that they have performed fishing because evidence is of found of fishing hooks okay these hooks that you use for fishing to ye kahan pe paya gaya hai it is found in the eastern part of india mainly in bihar and west bengal okay and which says that fish and rice was a staple food of this period which is even today especially in west bengal to yahan pe what we see today we see that jaise humne start of the lecture mein kaha tha it tells us about our present also right so that is where we begin and we also find that the type of housing that is there okay so housing ki baat kare again made of mud made of bricks okay yahan pe burned bricks nahi the that was only in the harappan period but here you had the roofs that were covered thatch roofs wattle dob roofs theek hai yahan pe the roofs that were there so you can write housing made of mud bricks okay the roofs were thatched covered roofs or wattle dob roofs okay matlab sort of a nice shaped covering for the roofs now other than this we also find the kind of arts and crafts okay to so, is period mein we find alag alag kuch cheeze jaise ki that were not there before so you find manufacturing of beads you find weaving okay and that is also because of the evidence humko kaun sa evidence mila hai i've explained that spindle whorls which is mainly required for weaving for prabhus and we have found this in malwa why we have found it in malwa because deccan region black cotton soil abhi ke time pe bhi cotton kahan pe hai deccan region right because of the soil so you find cotton that was cultivated even then which was helpful in mainly you know weaving clothes and so on in ke alawa we find the art of smelting okay copper smelting yani ki copper ka metal jo hai you you know to heat it to mold it to make it and that was mainly found in ahar because of the copper deposits okay resources that we find in rajasthan region theek hai bahut sara paya gaya hai in the ahar banas region so yahan pe copper smelting again was used which again talks about there were copper smiths during that period to alag alag type of arts and crafts that we find jo beads ki baat kar rahe hain hum there were again different kinds of beads that were there steatite there were beads of carnelian quartz crystal all of this was found in this particular 
period and that is again continued in your Indus Valley Civilization. In Kerala, we also can discuss about the burial practice. So, burial practice ki jab hum baat karte hai, Remember Neolithic site, which is the site that had the master and the dog buried together. It was in the Burzom, northwest uh, site, Kashmir. Mein. Okay, so where say you have to be careful. Burial sites in Chalcolithic, you find that they were put in urns. Okay, yani ki bade se pots mein, okay, like huge containers. Like thing, urns mein unko burial kiya jate hai. And ye burial jo hai, it was mainly placed below or beneath the floor of the house. So, jaise Harappa mein aur ek ek difference. Harappa mein you had like separately a cemetery, yani ki away from the house, jahan pe the they used to bury the dead. But Chalcolithic mein mainly in Maharashtra we find this that it was below the house only that they used to bury the dead. In north south direction. Okay. Apart from this, we see that this particular burial may we find a number of copper objects were also added in the site. That he go, no, it could be a general practice that they used to think that goods the person will use it in the next life. Okay, that could be a possible thinking. Isiliye you find certain objects put. In the grave of the dead. What about the religion of this period? Okay, so we have discussed with regard to burial. Let's understand about the religion. Now, in this period, we have got a lot terracotta cheese. So, terracotta figure of a woman. Okay, we have found of a mother goddess. Of a buffalo. Okay. So, what are the things that they kind of relate that probably they used to worship the mother goddess and buffalo terracotta cheese. So, they think that it could be some sort of a religious cult. Okay. So, this is where they say that there could be certain aspects of religion in this particular period and there also with regard to religion and society hum ye bhi bata sakte hai that there may be some rudimentary form of social inequality now why so because ye jo houses hum kehte hai they were of different sizes they were different floors some were also two story floors to ye batata hai that some were big houses, some were small houses. So that could also mean that there was some sort of social inequality present. Not all of them had the same amount of resources. When I talk inequality, ki baat karti ho, I mean that not everyone had the same amount of resources or wealth. Some were well off and some weren't. Okay, just like uh, there were some parts of north that were well off than in the west. So, that is what you can say with regard to the inequality, the society that was there. Another question aata hai for discussing the society or art and culture aspect with regard to this. And now let's understand why or what is the importance? Kya importance hai Chalcolithic period ki? To importance ki jab hum baat karte hai, We find firstly the art of smelting copper which was not practiced before in the period before this. So the first time metal was used, okay, copper ka istamal hua hai is particular period mein. Isi liye ye period baut significant hai, important hai. In ki alawa, we also find increased amount of agricultural crops that were grown. Right? Agriculture, just we have said lentils and peas and grams and pulses. So, here we say that agriculture has scale up in this period. Here, for the first time, you find painted pottery. 
again not present in the previous part pottery tha lekin painted pottery nahi tha so this is the many of the first that you have to remember prelims ke liye again very very important aise hi questions twist and turn kar sakte hain then you also find that in the pots that were made alag alag iska use hota hai alag alag type of pottery se to ye bhi hum keh sakte hain this also was a significant importance alag shapes alag sizes of pots okay like the dish on stand or the bowl on stand the type of ceramics that were also present during this particular period we can also talk about how chalkolithic people were considered as colonizers okay not like british colonial you know colonial powers aisa nahi colonizers ka matlab hai that they had huge settlements okay they had huge settlements they had a settled life life right because agriculture tha to they spread out that is what they created huge number of villages isliye jab hum chalkolithic culture ki baat kar rahe the i was talking about different regional cultures regional cultures may be bought sare different sites the right so which talks about they were colonizers and south india ki agar hum baat karte hain here it kind of faded from neolithic to chalcolithic is liye south india mein you also consider as a neolithic chalcolithic phase because ye smooth transition ek smooth phase hua hai from neolithic to chalcolithic so this was the importance of this particular period and let us also understand what is the limitation of this particular aspect chalcolithic period ya chalcolithic phase ki jab hum baat karte hain there are certain drawbacks to this particular period what are the various drawbacks to hum dekhte hain that in this particular period even though the domesticated animals they did not utilize these animals on a full scale yani ki jo cattle ka istemal hota tha yahan pe they did not utilize the cattle for milk they only used mainly for food but not for milk because wo sochte the ki the milk is only for the young ones for the cattle's baby to yahan pe isliye we see that they had not understood about you know the animal husbandry or domestication in that regard further we see agriculture was present right now agriculture was present but there were still certain problems with it jaise ki we find a large number of burials of children okay now very important burial mila hai jahan pe bahut sare children ka skeleton humko mila hai now what does this say agar aapko children ke skeletons mile hain what does this say now this could say that they had lack of nutrition okay or there was some sort of an epidemic or they did not have any knowledge of medicine altogether theek hai to agriculture hone ke bawajood grains hone ke bawajood there was some sort of a drawback a limitation because yahan pe humko burials mile hain bachcho ke skeletal remains mile hain and further even region wise jaise ki western and central part of india mein we find that they did not practice agriculture on a large scale so agriculture was not practiced mainly in west and sen why do we say this what is the evidence because yahan pe we have not found any extensive tools yeah you know you can say weapons of copper or stone talking about plowshare hoes जिसको जिससे ये पता पता चलता है कि यहां पे प्रॉबेबली एग्रीकल्चर वॉज नॉट प्रैक्टिस ओके और वॉज नॉट डन इन लार्ज स्केल सो बिकॉज ऑफ एबसेंस ऑफ होस एंड प्लाउस वी कैन से दैट यहां पे देर वॉज लिमिटेड यूज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर द नेक्स्ट ड्रॉबैक वी कैन टॉक अबाउट द बरियल ओके और वी कैन टॉक अबाउट द मेथल 
जैसे हमने देखा है दैट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर पीरियड यू फाइंड कॉपर दैट वॉज यूज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम बट यहां पर दे डि नॉट हैव द नॉलेज की दो मेटल्स का मिक्स हो सकता है दे न्यू कॉपर स्मेल्टिंग बट दे डि नॉट मिक्स टू मेटल्स लाइक कॉपर एंड टेल विच विल रिजल्ट इन ब्रॉन्स राइट तो यहां पर दे डि नॉट अंडरस्टैंड और देट हैड लिमिटेड यूज ऑफ नॉलेज ऑफ मेटल्स विच लेड टू द एबसेंस ऑफ ब्रॉन्स इन द पीरियड ठीक है विच वॉज a more stronger metal a more stable metal which could be used for tools and weapons right to isiliye yahan pe hum dekhte hain that they did not were not able to completely utilize the metal aspect in it other than this we also find the lack of copper resources limited they in this particular aspect and we also find yahan pe you don't find any written evidences you don't find any written evidences in this particular period because even though hum ibc ki baat karte hain you find a written script yahan pe evidence nahi hai kuch bhi so again completely prehistoric that is why we are understanding about it here and even though ye particular period was a contemporary of ibc they did not learn from or benefit from the technological advancement jo ibc के पास था जैसे अर्बन लाइफस्टाइल जो जी रहे थे जो ब्रॉन्ज मेटल है जो भी डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स है इवन दो सेम टाइम पीरियड दिस पीरियड लैक्स दैट टेक्नोलॉजिकल प्रोग्रेस और ये सब इसीलिए हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं इस टाइम पीरियड का लिमिटेशन सो दैट लीड्स अस टू आस्क द क्वेश्चन व्हाट कैन द मॉडर्न मैन लर्न फ्रॉम द स्टोन एज मैन हम क्या सीख सकते हैं उस टाइम पीरियड के इंसान से दैट बिलोंग टू द प्री हिस्टोरिक टाइम्स फर्स्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट सस्टेनेबल लिविंग उस टाइम के जो मैन ने ही ट्राई टू यूटिलाइज द रिसोर्सेज नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज दैट वर देयर इन इन हिज सराउंडिंग्स और उसका इस्तेमाल किया है टू लीड अ सस्टेनेबल लाइफ अभी के भी हिसाब से अगर हम देखें वी फाइंड दैट वी हैव adopted certain aspects and continued this in our present life as well jaise ki agar hum baat kare the new practice of making pottery you must have noticed agar aap dekhte hain that pot uh, pottery making class hota hai which is mainly looked upon for or uh, looked for therapy purpose meditation purpose for leisure purpose so don't we see that you are going back to the prehistoric times jahan pe wo handmade pottery banate the wheel made pottery banate the we also find during that period jahan pe manufacturing of beads hai weaving hai copper smith hai copper smelting hai all of this present even today the other thing that we can understand the modern man can learn from the stone age man is about adaptability adapting to the times to the changing times jaise ki climate change ki wajah se the man had to look for different type of tools to make different types of tools new kind of methods taki wo apna livelihood continue kar sake present times also we see climate change we have to look at adaptability mitigation efforts ताकि ये चेंजिंग क्लाइमेट में हम भी चेंज हुए हमारे हैबिट्स चेंज हुए हमारे वेज ऑफ लिविंग चेंज हुए वी ऑल्सो फाइंड विद रिगार्ड टू द इंक्रीज लेवल ऑफ इनोवेशन दैट द स्टोन एज मैन है बी इट फायर होमो इलेक्ट्रिस मैन बी इट नंबर ऑफ टूल्स दैट वर देयर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टूल्स बोन से भी उन्होंने टूल्स बनाया विच टेल्स अस अबाउट how we can also be innovative in our present time change according to it the changing times and that is why we also have indigenization we have stand up india make in india which talks about focus on innovation the next aspect hum bata sakte hain is with regard to community living 
जैसे उस जमाने में वी फाइंड पीपल क्रिएटिंग बैंड्स फॉर हंटिंग हंटिंग जाने के लिए छोटे बैंड्स का इस्तेमाल करते थे साथ में हंट करने के लिए ताकि इजीली दे कैन गेट दिया शिकार अभी भी हम ये अडॉप्ट कर सके हैं वी कैन अडॉप्ट कम्युनिटी लिविंग लिव इन हार्मनी अमांग्स आर सोसाइटी विद इन आर सोसाइटीज टू शेयर द रिसोर्सेज नॉट जस्ट अगर कंट्री इवन इवन ग्लोबल लेवल पर एंड फाइनली मैन देन न्यू द ऑप्टिमम यूज ऑफ रिसोर्सेज नॉट रिसोर्सेज फॉर इज utilization taki wo jee sake not over exploitation and that is again what we have to understand bahut resources the plentiful resources but he utilized how much he required and that leads us to the end of our discussion jahan pe humne discuss kiya hai prehistoric times starting from paleolithic all the way we have understood to chalcolithic phase pranam